Howdy everybody. I pray this video finds you blessed. So this week, I have a piece of spalted maple that a friend of mine, David Hendricks, had sent me. I appreciate that, David. Thank you so much. It's a beautiful piece of spalted maple. I can tell by looking at it in the end grain that it was very punky. Um, thought it was a really good project that I could use some of the Total Boat Penetrating Resin on. When I first started this piece, I wasn't sure if I was going to make a square platter or a round one. I just figured, worse comes worse, if I mess it up to where I can't um, do it as a square, then at least I have that material or that option. I'm kind of shaping it according to getting out some of that real um, punky areas. I like to try to, as much as I can, um, you know, shape it <laughs> to make it nice, but also to try to get rid of a lot of that punkiness. There was a few um, bug holes. There wasn't any bugs or anything in it, but there were a few um, worm holes where you can tell they were living. So I'm, I'm continually stopping it and taking a look at it and seeing how it's shaping up and also seeing how much of that punkiness is there because you can completely cut away a project before you get rid of some of the punky. And I'm willing to deal with it. I'm just trying to deal with the least amount. Because this piece is real punky and it had some questionable areas in it, I'm seeing a little bit of cracks throughout the punkiness. Not major. I chose to do a tenon instead. I felt that if I did a mortise, if there were any um, cracks or you know the punkiness caused it to separate, that that mortise would just further push it apart. And you can see how spongy, um, when people ask me what punky is, it's just very spongy, rotted parts of the wood. Total Boats Penetrating Resin really helps save projects like these. You could also use wood hardener, you can use um, watered down uh, wood glue, you can use all kinds of things to help harden those fibers so that way when you come back to um, scrape it, just do your final scrape uh, or sand it, it helps to where you can get a smoother finish. Now if you don't have any of those, but you do have resin, as long as it's epoxy resin, I'm not sure about polyurethane resin or any of those but if you have epoxy resin you can add 50% acetone up to 50% I would say you could add more 
um, acetone if you like and see how that works. But I feel with my experience that 50% acetone with the resin is plenty enough to thin it down to where it absorbs deep into the wood. It takes about 24 hours to cure. It was a little cooler that day, so um, it took a little bit like a day and a half uh, to fully cure so it wasn't so sticky anymore. Um, but yeah, either way, even if you use the acetone, it normally takes about 24 hours to, to harden. This beautiful pinkish color was actually in there before I applied the resin. I could see it when I had applied the resin originally. But that really, really popped once I put the sanding sealer on it. And it was so neat looking. I don't, I'm not quite sure if, you know, maple's known to have those pink streaks running through them or, or what. But it was a really pretty, like, I don't know, just a random pop of color that showed up in there. And it was, it was really cool. This is kind of always the nerve-wracking part. You're trying to get these wings the perfect thickness before you start taking out more of the material because that's what helps to keep the rest, you know, those wings stable while you're <laughs> chiseling them away. Um, and all it takes is one good whack and you just chip off a wing and then you're reshaping the whole piece. And I've done it before, uh, so that's why I'm, I know how that feels. But thank goodness that didn't happen with this piece. But the, like I said, the faster you turn, the um, better it is because then your cuts end up being smoother. Your, um, it doesn't, it's not as rough to cut. It's not a rough ride, I should say, um, while you're cutting. It just, while the air is hitting your chisel, you barely feel it the faster you turn.
The inside of this piece didn't have near as much punkiness as the back side, so I decided to go ahead and use the Total Boats Fast Set. And what I did is I painted it on really thick. I waited just a few minutes and then wiped it down with a paper towel just to kind of cut off the glossy, you know, the glossiness that it was given. I didn't want the piece to be a high shine. I wanted it to be more of like a satin finish and I just was using the resin to fill those little, just those little bits of punkiness that were on the inside of this platter. I was also kind of limited on time so I was trying to hurry the process <laughs> by using the facet resin so I could come in later that day and, and finish the platter.